What's good? Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Safe Peace of User. Hello, guys, and welcome back to my channel here. Uh, Safe Peace of User. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Safe Peace of User here. Coming with a new video on the uh, Las Vegas Raiders, actually. How to stop there. I almost called them Oakland. But, uh... Yeah, it was the first home game in Allegiant Stadium with fans because this year there will be people in the stands watching the games. Last year there wasn't and it was a, a weird thing to have seen so many games uh, just with no fans in the stadiums. But uh, now with things reopening, um, we can expect a full season of 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 exciting home games in Las Vegas full of Raider fans and that is just great news that's really good news and so this video here I'm going to be analyzing a little bit giving my own opinion and and just uh commentary I guess on what I saw in this first uh preseason game um against the Seahawks so the Seattle Seahawks were were, were at Allegiant um, playing playing with us, sort of, um, and or we were playing with them, right? But because uh, the Raiders did win, okay, twenty to seven, it was a well played game by the by the young um, Las Vegas Raiders because it was all like um, second string, third string, just backup. Uh, football players that were on the field that day for both sides for both teams so so one thing that I saw here is that uh is that the offense looked good right um and this is actually great news because a good football team that really has a chance at being that Super Bowl contender team um, which there are only a few if you really think about it um, midway through the season, you realize who the real good teams are, who are the teams that actually have a chance of making it the distance. I think that the Raiders, um, after seeing um, that solid performance by Nathan Peterman, the, he's actually the third string quarterback for the Raiders. If I'm not mistaken, if, if, if nothing has changed, Mariota would still be the immediate backup to Derek Carr. And then we have Nathan Peterman. So all those three QBs, in my in my opinion, and I think in most people's um, viewpoint, would deem these players, um, you know, like solid quarterbacks, solid quarterbacks. Um, yeah, because Nathan Peterman, at the end of the day, he outplayed um, Geno Smith on the other side of the field. Um, the Seahawks were were, were started him. Um, so a lot of you guys might know Geno Smith. Um, if you guys have watched football games in these last few years, he used to play for the Jets. But I knew he was back with Seattle. I just didn't know if he was still going to be there with them. But surely enough, he took the field. He started. And uh, and actually, though, he got injured very early in the game thanks to a solid defensive, thanks to a solid defensive um, effort. Um, and that's one thing that also was very clear in this game is that the defense really came out came out and played well, um, which is funny because now our defense is being uh, coached by by Gus Bradley, who was the LOB coach at the time for the Seahawks, and now we had him on our side in the building. And Pete Carroll, you could tell, was just like. He, 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 he was being, he was getting beat, you know? Um, so, I mean, if you, if, if you don't like the guy, I don't know, or if you're just a hardcore Raiders fan, then that's something you would just like find really amusing. And, uh, and I did for whatever reasons, you know, I've, I've kind of, um, had my moments where like I wanted Pete Carroll to win, um, certain games just because of the opponents they were playing. But at the end of the day, this is Allegiant Stadium. This is Raider Nation. And that was just good to see. 
um, the Raiders just completely baffling a, um, a reputable um, opponent. Um, so that's what we want to see this year for sure. We went 8-8 eight and eight last year, and this time we definitely need to make it into the playoffs. Okay, um, if we could go in there as a top seed, you know, win, the, win our division, that kind of thing, just be a clear out Super Bowl contender, then that would just be the best thing, best case scenario for our season. But I would say we definitely can. I'm not going to say like we have to, because that just puts a little bit of unnecessary pressure. But I think we will get to uh, maybe like 10 over 10 or more wins. I can definitely see now that the Raiders really are going to be a powerhouse team this year, for sure, from, 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 from what I'm 